Arts Week over here. Good afternoon, champion!
man, that was, uh, you see that was a flash mob they did right on Stainer, Ontario, right in the community. Stopped the community <laughs> for them to do that. And uh, you can see it was a lot of fun for our young adults being there and being able to receive. And uh, we're just so thankful for the uh, Jubilee team uh, from Maidstone, from the UK. There were a hundred of them that came flew all the way down, paid their airfares, their own airfares, came down to be a part of the Relentless, and they actually hosted it and made sure that everything ran well. And so we're just so glad that some of them, they've been spread out in the different churches, and we have, uh, in our ministry, we have about 35 of them that we have hosted here. And so, praise God to them. Let's all, let them just all stand, those ones from the So we have uh, uh, some uh, announcements that, that we have right now. We have upcoming uh, camp. We'll just look at it. Is that a video? Oh, okay. That's all it is. <laughs> Anyway, uh, the, the, uh, the thing that, that's coming up right now is the summer camp in July 17th to 19th. Uh, it's all, it's going to be at Stainer, Ontario. Where we were, where the Relentless was, that's where it's going to be. Uh, so um, those of you that have been there, you know the accommodations. So you already book yourself properly. All right. So uh, anyway, I encourage the rest of us here uh, to make sure that you you uh, avail of that uh, coming July 17th to 19th. That's a time where we as a family of God come together and uh, we, we grow together, learn together, play together, you know. So we're gonna be uh, talking a little bit more about that upcoming with the leadership on what we're gonna be doing in that, at that time. But uh, I would say that you start to book yourself, all right, for July, again, July 17th to 19. Tell the person beside you, be there. Be there. Okay. All right. You can't be there? Be there. All right. Make sure that, that you're there for um, that upcoming. Um, and of course, uh, in June, that before that, in June 5 to 7 is our Lifesavers Conference. All right. So I'd encourage everyone, uh, you're only... 30 minutes away, 30 to 45 minutes away from Brampton. So I would encourage you, make sure that you come. Because that's the day where we come together with all the satellites. Uh, we have people from Calgary coming, our London uh, church coming, our Cambridge, and of course Toronto and Scarborough now. We are only here at Scarborough uh, on, a, on a Saturday. It starts actually Friday night until uh, Saturday, so Friday night and Saturday. So I would encourage you come the Friday night and the Saturday because we have some equipping that we're doing and, and that's the time where we're really learning together. Your leadership has gone already. The leadership has gone in April. We have been uh, learning together and then uh, now we're bringing it down to the congregation, to the workers, ministry leaders, everybody else. So I would like encourage you to come because we need to all be on the same page. Amen? Amen? So as we're equipping the body of Christ, we're being discipled, we're learning, we're growing. We should all be on the same page together. So that as we're moving forward uh, to fulfill the vision that God called us, uh, nobody will be left behind. We're all doing it together. Amen? We're on the same page together. See, if, if you don't attend any of these kind of things, all right, what happens is that you, not, you don't know where the church is going. And so it could be that God, uh, it, it could be that you be the one to bring hindrance to the movement. Are you, are you hearing me? So instead of saying, yeah, we're going, you don't know. So you're saying, what are you guys doing? You know what I'm saying? So it's important that we, we are part of all of the things that, are, that we're learning. If you're a member of this church, then you are a part and you need to participate in all the things that we're doing. We're not just coming here on a Sunday, uh, sitting and just receiving uh, and learning. We are going to demonstrate it in our life and we need to know how to do that. Amen? Wow, are you uh, sleepy yet or? Uh, 
Uh, uh, do you hear me today? Amen? Yeah. Amen. Praise God. Be alive, you know. I was just not here for one weekend and it's like, uh, what happened to you? <laughs> so I was there, as you know, I was with the uh, young adults. We were there together because I wanted to really encourage our young adults uh, in learning and, and growing. You know what? I'm telling you, brothers and sisters, we've only got a few years to go. Uh, meaning, as we are moving forward, we have the next generation is just right behind us. All right? And, and uh, they're the ones, that are already young adults. And then after that, in just a four years from now, all those people graduating from high school will already have finished university. And by that time, they probably have a job already. So that's only four to five years. And so right now, we've got to start doing something about equipping them and training them and developing them. And I praise the Lord that we had some of them that were able to come. They have, I think we had 19. Is that true? Yeah. About 19 Woo. from right here. From our, yeah. All right. These are, these are young people who said, yes, we want to do it. And they were on fire for God. And I'm telling you, they, they had fun. They were there and they were connecting. And that's the great thing is because I think you've probably heard Michael come and he shared and Blair has come here from Jubilee. But you know, when they're talking about sonship and maturity, you start to see that in the lives of the people that they have been ministering to, the people that have raised up. And you can see that in the lives of those that have come. And, uh, and, and we can see that the fruit of that. And so it's important for us to continue in that journey to walk in that journey, to see also our young adults, our young people becoming mature in the things of God. Amen? Amen. And that they will be able to carry the church forward and advance the kingdom of God. As you know, the Lord is, is, is coming soon. And when the Lord comes, you know, we need to be ready. We need to be occupying territory before the Lord comes. We're not just sitting around saying, okay, I have a ticket to heaven. I'm going to wait until Jesus comes. You know, if the sons, who are the, the mature sons who are walking the things of God, God's going to uh, raise us up. And we're the ones who's going to advance the kingdom of God. God cannot use babies in the war. Amen? Yes. <laughs> because it's a war against the enemy. It's pulling down strongholds. And God will use mature sons to be able to move the kingdom forward. And so that's why we have these young adults. Who have come and praise the Lord for their testimonies. We want to, we want to, first of all, I want to see all of those young adults that were there. I want you to stand up. Those are 19 that we have from here. Are they here? All right. There you go. And then the others. Yeah. Look at them. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you, parents, for allowing them to go and uh, releasing them. And thank you for those who sponsored them. To uh, make them uh, uh, able to go because it was, uh, I, I can tell you, it was seed that was planted well, uh, you know, to these people. And uh, they have received. So I want to call them up and I'm also going to call up those from our Relentless uh, from the UK that have come to come up and share their testimony about some of the things that they have learned. All right. So uh, come. Everybody, those, those people that are going to share testimony. There's a lot of testimonies, but I'm going to call a few of them. So, come. And uh, just mention your name, and then you start. Go ahead. Hello, everyone. My name is Rioni. I'm, I'm from the UK team. I'm part of the training center at Jubilee. But, um, you know, this weekend and this, this time in Canada has just been amazing, the things God's been showing me. I've really, like, connected hearts with some of the, some of the young people here in in a way that I didn't think was possible, like God's blown my mind by the love He put in my heart for my brothers and sisters here. And um, through that, I've, I've gotten this excitement of what God's wanting to do, because I don't think it's just for nothing that we've connected hearts like a, across like continents this way. And um, yeah, I'm just so excited to be a part of whatever God's going to do. Praise God. Thank you so much. Um, hello everyone, my name is Kat um, and together um, with my husband and um, Ben we were leading the team this week in Brampton and we did all sorts of stuff um, and uh, we had an absolutely brilliant week. There were quite a few of the young adults there that took the whole week off um, to come and be with us and uh, work hard and um, I think although, although we've worked hard I feel, I feel like I'm going home refreshed, I feel like I'm going home with God really spoken to me and re-envisioned me about things and 
God's really been speaking to me about a specific verse in the Bible that says, um, to whom much is given, much is required. And I think um, at Relentless, as young adults and as that generation, I think there was a real sense of knowing of, a, of an impartation of the generation that's gone before. And um, I think over this week, I've, I think I've started, I began to realize that actually all that we have been given, um, if we've been given much, then also much is required of us. And um, so I'm really, um, yeah, going home, re envisioned knowing that actually, you know, God's, God's given these things to us as a generation for a purpose and for things to come. And um, yeah, I'm ready to go. Amen. My name is Anthony. Um, I'm not actually part of Jubilee. I'm from a church in Cornwall in the UK uh, called Highway. But it's a privilege to have been able to come along to, to Canada with the Jubilee guys. And uh, what God's been teaching me this week is um, different ways that I can actually serve the people that I love. Because before I used to think that it was just about money. So one of the things that I struggled with before I came to Canada was actually should I come to Canada because I was having family issues. But I did come. And I learned that, that through my time and through hard work, I can serve people in different ways. And just by seeing the way that um, the Brampton guys that I've met um, actually interact with each other, how they've responded to us being around them, it's been a real inspiration. And I don't see them as, as friends, I see them as family now. And it doesn't matter what nation we come from, we're all one family. So I just want to, I just want to say that yeah, you've been a real blessing to me, and yeah, I, this is my first international mission, and I hope it's the first of many. So yeah, uh, so that's the first thing, and you might be wondering why I'm wearing this hat. <laughs> um, who was there last night? Put your hand up. <laughs> right, so um, about a year ago, um, I was, I, I had my last haircut. And then in November time, I was, I was um, approached to start growing my hair and my facial hair as well. But it was only to be, supposed to be for a month. But then when the month came to an end, a co-worker of mine challenged me to keep going. And so I said, okay, I'll keep going until the day before I go to Relentless. And I had this huge afro and a big ginger beard. I looked like Mr. Tumnus and that became my nickname. And so I, I auctioned my haircut while I was there um, in Penryn, and they gave me a mohawk. Um, so yeah, all you guys saw it, didn't you? It looked ridiculous. And then last night, um, Craig Wilson from Claremont Church auctioned off another haircut, and his, his children happened to win. And so they, they gave me an interesting haircut, and I'm just going to show it to you now. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, the reason that I did this was to raise money for my, because I'm a, a youth leader at Highway, and I raised money for them to be able to go to um, something called Masada in the UK, which is uh, hosted by Jubilee. Um, just, just seeing what, um, what I've taken from Relentless, I'm, I was... I'm all for seeing the younger generation to be able to um, to grow in the things that I've learned. So it was more, it was well worth it. I don't care what I look like. So yeah, I just want to thank everyone that was there who supported me. Thank you so much for sharing that. I mean, imagine sacrificing his own self. He wasn't really concerned about what he looked like, but he was willing to give that up because he was raising money. Uh, for other people, so not even for himself. So praise God for, for that, brother. Hi guys, I'm Ayana and... <laughs> yeah, no, sorry. Yeah. Um, so the best part of the weekend was um, the bond that was created and the relationship that was created between the brothers and sisters. and. The best part for me was when they taught us about the purpose over comfort because me being right now, me being here right now, one of you is way up out of my comfort zone <laughs> and I'm shaking, but um, I'm doing it for him so that um, I can glorify him through this testimony. And um, I just wanted to say that 
if you really want God to take you out of your comfort zone and to another level, you really need to um, be willing to um, give everything to Him, such as uh, being out of your comfort zone. And that's it. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much. Thank you for going out of your comfort zone. Amen. Um, I'm Christine, so um, I was just encouraged by the passion that the Jubilee team have um, to serve. Uh, this shows how much God has done for them, and then now they're able to impart this to um, to uh, the young adults' life, uh, to young adults. And also, um, uh, it's just uh, one of their testimonies too is that like um, to invest in eternal life and not on secondary things. So this just reminds us, like, even the young adults that were more of, like, we're still in school and stuff like that. And then now it just reminds us that we shouldn't invest in worldly things, but all um, in eternal um, things. Um, also, personally, I am blessed because it just reminded me that um, to fix my focus on God and not on other things. Wow. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Hi, everyone. My name is Jeff. And, um... Relentless was a really great blessing. I learned a lot of stuff, which is like, I can't really say everything right now because, you know, it's it's pretty hard to um, tell everything to you guys. But one thing that stood out for me is that God has a heart for the nations. God has a heart for the generation, for the next generation. God has a heart for us to mature. And so for me, I thought that um, reading the Bible is just for that, so that we could follow his, you know, follow like, all the rules that he has given to us, but um, that really um, challenged me because um, or that really opened my eyes and um, that really told me that God is relentless for us to share his love, to share his word to the to everyone and um, to, for, for his glory to, to be known. And uh, it was just amazing because there were like 27 nations they're at Relentless, and uh, that blew me away because because um, that blew me away because um, I, I, like, we all know about the Great Commission that make disciples of all nations, but I never really imagined how it looked like until I went to Relentless. And you know, I met a lot of, uh, of races, of cultures, of, of different amazing people, and I was blessed of their passion for God, and um, that challenged me to be mature, to, be, to live a life. And um, that what really stood out to me um, with because uh, they have banners, the Jubilee team have banners across like across the tabernacle, which is like a dining hall or like no like the sanctuary. Yeah. And uh, one thing that challenged me was this quote that um, says, "Live simply, so others might simply live." And when I examined my heart, I wasn't really living; I was just existing. And so. Um, yeah, I want to challenge everyone, and I want to thank God for giving me the reason, the reason to meet people and to connect with other nations, even though we're like totally unique and totally different. That we have one reason that we have been saved, we have been, we have been redeemed by Jesus Christ, and um, yeah, I just want to give all the glory to Him. And Amen. Thank you. My name is Josiah, and um. Last weekend, it was really, it was really a blessing to me. And um, what really stood up to me was um, really um, giving God everything and putting Him first above everything else. Because uh, just a bit of a uh, brief um, background. Before before I went to Rwandas, I was um, I was really down, like spiritually. I was you know I was really like on fire for God. But then when I when I got there. I see all these people, you know, they share the same faith, they all worship the same God, and I was just really encouraged to really just, you know, open myself and surrender my life to Him. It's more of like a recommitment kind of thing, so like, it was really a blessing to me, and just to know that these guys are, like, right behind me, they, they, they can back me up, you know, they can pray for me, they're, they're for me, brothers and sisters, so it was really a blessing to me, and um, I just encourage everyone to really, um, uh, Really seek God first, and everything will, everything else will follow. Just do your best, and God will do the rest. So thank you so much. Thank you, guys. I know, I know that uh, it was, it, it was uh, something for you to be able to share, and thank you for sharing your hearts. 
And, uh, you know, as, as a congregation, we, you know, uh, for those of you that started with us five years ago when we started the congregation, you know that when we started, we said, you know, we're not, we're, we're not here trying something. We're, we're not here doing things trial and error. We know where we're going. We know what we're supposed to be doing. We know that God's call to what we're supposed to do. And so from the very beginning, we started developing the church and laying down the foundation and putting the right things. And then we started to see now as the church began to grow, we started to do the things that we need to do. And that is develop the young people so we can raise them up already so that they will be strong foundations so that we can move forward. And so that's where we are now. Five years later, we're seeing now this coming up. And so that's a good thing. Because what we have been dreaming about, what we've been praying about, what we've been believing God is starting to happen. And we can start to see that. Because friends, I'm telling you, uh, God, uh, God is looking for His sons to rise up. Amen? Because the world out there is eagerly waiting for mature sons to be sown out there, to be people that will make a difference. And so praise God that our church here in, in Scarborough, uh, in our satellite, that we are raising up our young adults already and making room for them. Last uh, Friday, uh, we had the, the people from uh, the UK, from the mission team, uh, do the, the young, youth and young adult uh, outreach uh, in our, uh, at the City of God Church where we are renting. And this was our first uh, get together for our youth and young adults. Praise God, it happened. Amen. Praise the Lord. We, we have been planning about it. Um, our leadership team of the youth and young adult went to Brampton to see how it's being done every week there. And then our next step was to uh, for Michelle and the other team to, to go and um, work out with their leadership and do some more training and equipping. But before that happened, we had the, the Relentless team come yeah. and be able to already share. So praise God, it happened. I've seen it. I was there Friday night looking at our young adults and having a great time. And I'm seeing that from that moment on, we're going to see a once a month, a young adult fellowship that we're going to be raising them up. Amen? Yeah. And so there will be an expression for our young adults to be able to start doing and then later on, we're going to start to work together with them as they mature, they grow in the things of God. We're going to work together with them in building the church for His glory. Amen? Praise God. So uh, that's a wonderful, wonderful uh, thing that God is doing in our midst. And I just praise God for what He's doing. And you are a part of that. And I thank you for being a part and being open to see it we can't, because we can't be people that we just you know put blinders on and say this is the way things are we need to break those traditions so that we would be able to move forward god is the god of the new amen and his his mercies are new every morning and there are things that god wants to do that we should allow him and let the spirit of god move within the church so praise god for that now we're going to be receiving our uh, offering at this time and uh, uh, for those of you that, uh, uh, you know, th those of you that are visiting with us, uh, just to let you know that you are not obligated to give. This is what our family of God is doing um, as, as a family that we support the work of the kingdom uh, through our tithes and offering. And our tithes support our Sunday school, the materials that we have, the outreaches, you know, when, we, when we're renting facilities, all of that is coming from our tithes and offering. The salaries that are, are, are being paid, administration, all that is because of the tithes and offerings. And so when we give, we're giving it to the work of the Lord. And so be mindful of doing that and uh, you give your very best as unto the Lord today. And if you need an envelope, make sure that you raise your hand because our usher will be able to give you an envelope. Um, and so let's let's pray for our offering. All right, let's pray that God will prosper and bless uh, us and our businesses, our work, so that we can continue to give. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this opportunity that we can give to you. Those who have none to give, Lord, may you bless them with seed that they can sow into your kingdom. We commit this into your hands. We give you praise. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you as you give, and the ushers will be going around to get our collateral.
All right. Thank you for your giving. Praise the Lord. Are you ready to receive the word today?